Guys, in this video I'm going to explain about truck fairing versus horsepower. We see trucks driving around all the time. What we don't know is what is a truck fairing and what's the purpose of that. We add fairings to the truck or cars or motorcycles to decrease drag. Drag is the force against the truck that is traveling. So the, this red thing here is the fairing. This fairing here prevents the air to make a turbulence here shocking against the, the trailer. So the air makes the truck sleekier and the air goes up without turbulence. If we add fairings to the side of the truck, preventing the air coming from the side of the truck and shocking on the wheels, the truck will be a lot sleekier. So let's see how do we know how much horsepower do we get putting this fairing. Only this fairing on the top of the cabin. So this is the formula of the drag force. DF is drag force. CD is the coefficient of drag. We can find the, the, this coefficient of drag on, on this book Fundamentals of Fluid Mechanics or you can find on the internet. Depends on the model that you are applying. If you are applying to a car you can find that on the internet. This is a Greek letter. Its name is Ho. Represents the density of the fluid that the sample is passing through. In this case, the air. We can find the density of the air also in the internet or in the same book in this chart here. This FA here is the frontal area of the truck. If you see the truck in, from the front, you will see the shape more or less like this. So you calculate the area that we have here to put in the formula. The letter V is the velocity of the truck is traveling. The velocity is squared. Then everything is divided by two. Okay, now let's put some numbers in the formula and see what happens. As we can see in this table, the truck with no fairing, the first truck, has a drag coefficient of 0 0.96. The truck with the half of the fairing has the drag coefficient of 0 0.76. And the truck with the for the fairing has the drag coefficient of 0 0.7. So we're going to be using the 0 0.96, which is no fairing, and the 0 0.7, which is the fully fairing. This coefficient of drag is dimensionless. Next, the air density at 15 degrees at sea level is 1.23 kilograms by cubic meters. This frontal area of the truck is an estimative of 2.5 meters wide by 3.5 meters in height, so 8.75 meters squared. The velocity of the truck I'm going to be using 56 miles per hour or 90 kilometers per hour but to put in this formula needs to be in meters per second so it's 25 meters per second putting all these numbers in this formula the only thing that changes is the fairing with no fairing 0 0.96 and with the fairing 0 0.7 so with no fairing the drag force is 3.5 2.229 kilonewton. 
if we put the ferry, the drag force will be 2.354 kN. To convert that in a more common unit, you divide by the gravity, 9.81, and we have the drag force of 329 kilograms with no ferry. So the truck is making a force of 329 against the wind. If we put the ferry, the drag force will be 240. That doesn't seem too much, but let's see how much horsepower the truck will gain if we put the ferry. To see the horsepower, we use this formula here. Power equals to velocity, that is 25 meters per second, times the drag force needs to be in Newton, here. First, we're gonna be using without ferry, then with ferry. The output of this formula will be in watts. So, to convert that in horsepower, we divide by 745.7 to get in horsepower. So, with no ferry, we have 108 horsepower only to get through the air. If we put the ferry, we will get 79 horsepower to go through the air. It's a difference of 29 horsepower. 29 horsepower you gain if you put the ferry. Doesn't seem too much, but in an uphill, if you try to pass someone, it's some horsepower that you get. Also, if you put the ferry, you are using less horsepower to travel at the same speed. So, you increase the fuel efficiency. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it.